Hi students, here we are with a very interesting lesson, structure of the atom. Now let's check the content of the video. Yes, electrons, protons and neutrons. What are they? Yes, they are the subatomic particles found in an atom. That is, you can divide your atom, right? Let's check it. Here you can see an image. I'm taking this balloon to be A, okay? I'm taking this to be A. Then I'm just rubbing that balloon on a dry hair. Okay? And then bring that balloon A near some other balloon. Let it be B. What will you observe? You can see that both of them get attracted. Or if you're bringing this very same balloon near a wall, there also you will see the same observation. Why so? Before concluding, let's check another activity. Yes, comb your dry hair with a plastic comb and bring the very same comb near some small bits of paper. What will you observe? Yes, you can see that the comb will attract the small pieces of paper. Why so? Actually, what did you do here? Yes, you took your comb and just rubbed on your dry hair. Then brought that very same comb near some bits of paper. And you found that the comb just attracted all those bits, right? Yes. And why so? Let's check. Yes. On rubbing two articles, what did you use there? You used your comb and your dry hair. They became electrically charged. So once you are rubbing your dry comb or your dry hair with the comb, you can see that they become electrically charged so that there is an oppositely charged particles that get attracted with each other. Yes, now you can conclude that an atom is divisible and consists of charged particles. So, an atom consists of charged particles. That means an atom contains some subatomic particles. Clear? And now, Atoms are made up of three subatomic particles, electrons, neutrons and protons. Yes, you can see some images right here. This is your electron and you can see a charge here. Yes, electrons are negatively charged. And what about proton? Yes, they are positively charged. And what about your neutron? They are chargeless, that is charge is zero. So what did we learn? Yes, we learned that atom consists of three subatomic particles, electron, proton and neutron. Electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged and your neutrons are chargeless. Is it clear? Very good. And now the nucleus consists of protons that are positively charged and neutrons that have no charge at all. Hence, the nucleus is said to have a positive charge. And now, your electrons. Where are they lying? Yes, electrons are outside the nucleus. They revolve rapidly around the nucleus in fixed circular path called the energy levels or your shells. So, we learn the arrangement of the proton, neutron and electron. What did we learn? Yes, we learned that your proton and neutron are inside the nucleus. And what about the electrons? Yes, they are just outside. And you call them to be energy levels or your shells. And they are just revolving around them. Around the nucleus, which includes your proton and neutron. Is it clear?